Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are here with some very, very important news here. So, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, man. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. I'm one of the biggest Xenoblade Cra Chronicles fans you're gonna meet. Really, I talk about them almost more than any other uh, Nintendo news YouTuber out there. I really just love the franchise. I'm a big fan here. So, after a long wait, guys, we do finally have some reviews here coming in for the game. And one thing you should know, Famasu is always a Nintendo biased company. To be fair, Nintendo usually sends them the games early. So, if Nintendo sent me games early, it would be hard for me to resist being biased towards the company that's helping out my business, right? So, I understand why Famasu has to be this way. But, what, what I find a little bit concerning is the review of the game is not as favorable as I would have expected from Famatsu. The game got a 35 um, out of 40, which is an 87.5, so about an 88, which for a game, right, for a game, that's great for most games. But the legacy of the original game and how great the original game was, it does... It just concerned me that potentially the original game is not something that can ever be attained again. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, but maybe the original game just simply cannot be attained. I don't know. The sequel, Xenoblade Chronicles X, was a fine game. It wasn't bad by any means, and there was a lot of things to like about the game. The mech combat was awesome. The open world was awesome. But the game had issues, man, and I don't want to get into that right now because that's going to be a long video. But just to sum up a couple issues I have with the game, I didn't like how there was only one city. Didn't like that. I didn't like the story was not very thought out. The story was kind of bad. The story was not bad. It was bad. I mean, I didn't mind the voice actress being an American. I don't care about that. Just, I don't think the story was well executed, you know. And was, I mean, uh, what else? What else? With the, what else with the game? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me to explain, but it did not have the same, m m m um, you know, the same the same joy I had, you know, with the original game. That's just the best way I can um, describe it here. So, I do want to see what the original game got. So, Famatsu Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I'm just curious what they gave the original game here. Can I find that somehow, please? Famatsu. Let me, let me type in X here. Let's do X. So, what, what if Famatsu gives Xenoblade Chronicles X? I'm just curious here. 9, 9, 8, 8. So... This is the same reviews that uh, the X game got, which the X was a good game, guys, but man, it was far, man, was that game far from perfect, you know? I still love the though, I still love that game, but you know, it's, let's see, let's see, I'm just, I'm just trying to find what the original one got. So is this the original? This is the original, what did Famatsu give it? Let's see here. I'm um, having trouble here finding the actual reviews. These are just people talking about it. Let's see. Here's, here's the Xenoblade Chronicles website. I have an idea, guys. Let's check uh, Metacritic here. Let's see if I want to review this thing on Metacritic. Let's take a look. Here is the game. I, I, I did not know I got a T rating here, so let's see if Amatsu re reviewed it on here. Let's go. So, it doesn't it doesn't appear that Famatsu has given this game a review, which, I, I mean, they probably did, I probably just can't find it. But that's a bummer, because I, I would love to have compared this thing to the original. But what we do know is it has the same exact review score as Xenoblade Chronicles X. So take that for what it is, man. It's going to be a good game, but it may not live up to the original. And that's that's a bummer. To be fair, the developers were indeed rushed to make this game. You know, Tama Takashi even said that, that he had to kind of push himself to get the game out in time. Which is crazy because this man already pushes himself already, you know. So I do think it's time for the company and Nintendo to potentially move on to the Xenoblade Chronicles franchise. I think they have to, I don't know man, I'm not sure what to say, but like, I'm not looking for another 80, 88, 87 game. I want to see a game that can potentially live up to the original, man. And I don't think it's going to happen here, you know, but I'm still going to give it a chance. I'm definitely buying this game. You guys definitely should. If you do want to pre-order this game, Amazon link is going to be down below. But overall, just make sure you subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Thank you and bye.